Adventure Lab! Adventure Lab! Adventure Lab! That next on Geocaching with Sim Rebel! There's a new uh, adventure lab out in the county. Uh, five uh, labs all together, and they're spread out uh, across the county. So this is going to take a couple days to do. I'm not going to do them all at once. And it's by local cashers, fortune seekers. Uh, George and Kim. George is a volunteer firefighter, so he decided to do the uh, adventure lab on the fire stations in Norfolk County. So we're off to uh, fire station number one, I think, uh, in Simcoe, my hometown, and then uh, we'll do the other four when we get a chance to. So. Uh, waiting for cars. Busy traffic today. So that's next. Norfolk County is divided into 11 fire districts. These districts are based on the principle of providing the appropriate fire and rescue service in the best possible time frame. Each fire district is serviced by a fire station. Fire stations vary in size and capability according to the fire protection and rescue needs of the fire district. The fire districts do not operate independently since all operations are coordinated through a common fire dispatch center. It is very common for our fire fighters and fire apparatus to respond from more than one station to an incident depending on the need. So this is the uh, Sipco fire station. The big doors and everything. So just gotta figure out. Sipco's fire hall used to be at the corner of Robinson and Talbot Street back in 1879. On Ju July 3 3rd, is in a separate parts of the town. Three arches were erected, one by firemen on the corner of Robinson and Colburn Street. This arch was covered with flags and mottos with the center of the sign saying the fire. Men welcome their American friends. Around on the top were fire engines, a, a couple of those reels and hook and ladder cart, and various other firemen's tools. That has been arranged in a very pr pristique effect. The old fire hall was built in 1889. Simcoe had many memorial fires, some notable being the Kelly Bowling Lanes in October 1969, the train derailment and fire on Norfolk Street North in 1975, King's China Shop in May 1977, assisted with the Hagersville Tire Fire in 1990, the Dahmer Hair Salon in the summer 1994, and the Simcoe Composite School Gym Fire of October 2003. The current location of the station is on the corner of Victoria and Culver Street. They have 31 firefighters with one being female. Average calls are 324 per year. All right, at the fire station, uh just need some uh, information off the plaque over there to get the uh, lab. So now uh, one down, four to go. Station 5, Delhi, has around 14 decades of firefighting. They have had two families and three intermediate family members serving at the same time. Currently they have a district and deputy district district chief holding the same position as a previous close relative at the same time. The two largest hotels in town burnt in the same decade, both being suspicious between 1985 and 1990. Station 5 was put on the map due to the diaper fire. Station 5 was several under served under three governing bodies being the town of Delhi, township of Delhi, county of Norfolk. In the 1950s, 
we provided service Middleton and Houghton until they established their own service. Station 5 has 24 firefighters, all male. Their average call volume it, per year is 139. We're at uh, fire station number 5 in Delhi. Needed some information off the uh, station here. Station 8 in Fairground started in 1964 in the former Houghton Township. At the time when call came in, the, t the township employees would drive the fire trucks along with the firefighters as they were short-staffed. In 1992, there was a head-on collision involving friend that took a firefighters an hour and 45 minutes to extricate using hand tools. After the event, the firefighters started fundraising to purchase a set of Jaws of Life. In six months, they raised $30,000, then, then purchased the Jaws in 1993. Station 8 has responded to Sand Hills for hand gliding incidents. They have 16 firefighters, one being female. The average call volume is 60 per year. And we're in fairgrounds, out in the boonies. <laughs> Station 10, St. Williams, was started in 1959 by a few local guys. Their first pumper was a modified irrigation pump. It's currently stored in the deputy district's barn. There used to be a house beside the fire hall a long time ago. The house caught fire while the firemen were in the hall, and they did not know this until a passing firefighter from Port Rowan stopped and notified them there was a fire right next door. Station 10 has 21 firefighters, two which are female. Their yearly average call volume is 34. Fire station number 10. Needed some information off a uh, cistern, so I had to find out what a cistern was. <laughs> Station number four in Teeterville. In 1897, a fire broke out in the home of Jack Denby, which spread quickly. The alarm was raised by the bells on top of the blacksmith shop and many local citizens formed a bucket brigade. Very quickly, the wells in the village were drained, and unfortunately, 14 buildings burnt to the ground. Teterville never returned to its former glory after the event. Station 4 was built in 1950, with the additional addition uh, was added in 18, 1980. A former chief being in position for 15 years brought in the 911 system, in which he went out in the village and personally numbered each house. Station 4 has 23 firefighters, all male. They average 88 calls per year. All right, we're at the Teeterville fire station for the last of the lab's caches. And we just need some information here. And it took me a couple minutes to do some counting, but we got it. So, five labs, fire, fire halls all across Norfolk County, a lot of driving, uh, but five caches, right? <laughs> and this, uh, with this one completed, this is my 200th lab cache. Woo! <laughs> so, keep them coming. Uh, till next time, cache you later, cache you on the trails.